Hey everybody, welcome to Roy Meets World. Today I'm here at Magic Kingdom. I have a very special and exciting idea to do today. I'm really excited to bring you along. Brennan is here also. Hello! So let's get inside and let's see what kind of fun we can get up to today. Woo! Brennan, I guess we should tell everybody what we're doing today. We are going to be riding Space Mountain here at Magic Kingdom, and then we're going to be getting on a plane and going to Disneyland and doing. We already did that. We already did that. Oh. We already did that. All right. Well, I guess let's do something else. All right. What are we doing? So, to have a good time. You can either do something that we did, which is go coast to coast and ride the same ride in the same day, or just have a good time. You can do something as simple as hide and go see. Now, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, right? Hide and seek at Magic Kingdom. Could there be like a more useful use of time, riding rides, watching some shows? But you know what? If you come here enough, it's always exciting to try to find new and fun things to do. Now, I do want to play some hide and seek with Brennan. Where am I going to do it? What would be the best, most fun place to do hide and seek? I think I've mentioned it in a video a long time ago on Attractions. I don't know. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about it. Now, before we go play hide and seek, wherever that ends up being, oh no, Mickey, you ripped them in half. <laughs> we need to make sure that we're very well nourished for our game. So, we got a pretzel, and we got a churro, we got some cheese sauce, and then we got some chocolate sauce. This is fun, I just wanna like wave this around. <laughs> We're getting sugar everywhere. Sorry. All right, so we finished our snacks, which were absolutely delicious. Now we're still trying to find a fun place to play hide and seek. Brennan, do you know of like a place that's kind of secluded that we could play hide and seek on? Just nothing really comes to mind right now. Let's go to Tom Sawyer Island. <laughs> Okay, hi Brennan. Hi. So we've made it to Tom Story Island. Now here's how this is going to work. I have my old camera that I used to use. Brennan is going to hold on to this camera. Okay. And I have a stopwatch here on my watch. And what we're gonna do is Brennan is gonna, we're gonna play this twice. Brennan is gonna go hide somewhere on Tom Story Island. Here's also the catch is that right now, uh, Fort Langhorn is closed. So we can't go across that suspension bridge over to the other side of the island, which is actually kind of fine. So we're gonna confine our game to just the main part of Tom Sawyer Island, which makes it a little bit easier, and hopefully we can find each other in this game of hide and seek a little bit quicker. Uh, so <laughs> whenever Brennan goes and hides, I'm gonna give her about a minute or so to go hide, and then I'm gonna start my stopwatch here. We're both gonna film from our perspectives, and then we're gonna see how long it takes us to find each other. Are you ready to do this? I'm pretty darn excited about doing this. This is definitely gonna be something new that we've never like done, so I'm excited to see how this works out. Mm -hmm. And then again, we're both gonna film it, so I'm gonna intersplice and have some fun editing this around later, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we both have our phones here. We're about to start our stopwatch here. I'm gonna give Brennan five minutes to go wherever she wants to go to hide. We're both filming. Hello. Hello. This is already really weird. <laughs> so after five minutes, wherever you are, I'm gonna come and find you. You are gonna film your experience. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna film my experience coming to find you, and this should be fun. It should be. I'm excited. All right, I'm All gonna right. start my timer and. In three, right. two, one. Oh, okay. Well, close enough. <laughs> Bye. So this will be interesting. You guys are gonna come along with me today. Tomsworth's Island is so cool. Okay, so we did say that caves weren't off limits. However, I know Roy's old camera is not too good with low lighting. So I'm gonna try something different. Where should I go? Oh, look at the little ducks. Hmm. I wanted to make this a little bit challenging, but I'm not exactly sure how far away I wanted to go. Let's try over here. Should I hide in this? No, because you can probably see me from down there. Cool. We're going to come down here, guys. I'm just going to chill by the water. Oh, ran into one of those buggy twisters. Look at this nice view. You know, I'm going to make this a challenge for him. And not so much of a challenge for me. 
I'm just gonna chill right over here. Now this isn't the only thing that we're gonna be doing today. I have another little plan to do something fun after we finish with this, but this is always something I've wanted to do. I've wanted to do a, either like, I don't know, like a water balloon fight or hide and go seek or tag or something fun on Tom Sawyer Island because I love Tom Sawyer Island. It is probably my favorite part of Magic Kingdom because for reasons that I probably exhausted in talking about that you've probably heard a lot whenever I've come here. It's just so fun and it's secluded and I like it. We have about two more minutes until I can go find Brennan, but I'm excited. So it only took me about two and a half minutes to get to where I am. If you don't know where I am, I'm just kind of like right across from the riverboat. I'm in what used to be the, I think it was called Aunt Molly's. Like you could, used to get some food and drinks over here. And now this is just like a nice seating area. All right. This is where I'm gonna hang out until Roy can come and find me. This is a more chill version of hide and seek than I used to play as a kid, but I'll see what he does uh, when he hides. All right, and now it's time to go find Brennan. All right, it looks like five minutes is up, which means Roy's gonna be on his way soon to come find me. I started my stopwatch on my wrist so I could put this back in my pocket so I can have an accurate representation as to how long it's gonna take me to find Brennan. So, all right, I don't see her in here right now. That's, uh, I guess we should check out the cave first, right? Okay, I did not see her in the cave at all. Oh, geez. So the only parameters that Brennan and I had going into this is that wherever we hid, it needed to be out in the open so we couldn't like hide behind or crouch down or do anything like that wherever we hid. We just had to stand there out in the open and it's more about however long it takes to find the other person. That's kind of more of the game. It's just how long it takes. Okay, she wasn't in there. She wasn't in that first cave. Let's, let's make a parameter, kind of search around. Tom Sawyer Island first before we go up on the hill. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up and actually move because there was a lot of people around me. So I wanted to make it a big thing when Roy came and I could start recording him. So I'm actually just gonna hang out right here by this box. And then this will be my view. This is exciting. I hope you guys are as into this as I am. This is kind of fun. I think I hear him coming. I can hear his keys. Oh, how long did it take? How long did it take? <laughs> uh, hold on. It took three minutes to find you. I heard your keys coming around the corner. <laughs> oh, man. It only took three minutes to find you? Yeah. This is your hiding spot, just right here? Well, I was sitting over there, but then like a lot of people started to sit around me and it was like really quiet. <laughs> So I came over here. All right, so that was kind of a fun little trial run of our little hide and seek experiment. Uh, so we decided we're gonna shorten it from five minutes down to three minutes because you said five was a little bit too much? Yeah, it was a little too much. Okay, Cause so. Cause like when you like start looking for a place, you're like rushing, so. It's true. So three minutes should be good. Um, and we're gonna start at the same time on here. And then I'm gonna be the one to go hide and then you're gonna be the one to come find me. Yeah. And hopefully I'll be doing better than just standing right here in the open. <laughs> Whatever. On three. One, two, two three. three. Ah. Alright, have fun. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Unlike Brennan, I'm gonna be heading up here to find a spectacular hiding spot. I still have about two minutes here to find a comfortable and fun spot. I feel pretty confident about that. Should I hide up here? No. Let's keep going this way. While I wait, I'm gonna come over here and enjoy the fan that's coming down. I wonder if Brennan's still down there somewhere. I guess that's where she just was, right down there. All right, we're running down the uh, steps here. Still got about a minute and a half or so. I'm considering hiding in here. Would that be, I just tripped. Would that be too obvious? Not obvious enough, I think I might do it. I got one more minute. Should I hide in here? Okay, I have less than 20 seconds left. I think I'm gonna camp out here in the windmill. Um, I'm like over here, like behind this post, like next to the door. I know I said like we weren't gonna like hide behind anything, but I'm still like right here if she walks in. I'm gonna be the first thing that she sees. All right, it's been three minutes. I'm excited and scared. <laughs> All right, and the three minutes is up, which means it is time to go find Roy. 
I'm actually curious to see like how and where he's hiding because this is kind of vision that was in his head so depending on like what he does with his hiding spot it's kind of like it'll give me a better idea on like what he actually wanted to do with this challenge but it is really fun all right so he started out by going this way but I'm gonna try the opposite direction and I'm gonna try and look for his butt going this way But first, let's stop and appreciate like how beautiful <laughs> this water mountain is. And watch your step. Let me tell you, I don't know how Roy does this all the time because it's so hard trying to make sure that what you want to get in the shot is in the shot, but also like watching your step. A lot of this stuff has a lot of dirt and all sorts of stuff on it. Makes you wonder just like how old everything in here is. There's leaves and all sorts of stuff. Also, I decided just to like not restart my clock or put it on here or anything because I'll just subtract three minutes from whatever this ends up being. I like almost want to think that he's at the playground. All right, if he's not at this playground, I'm at least going to try and see if I can see him. Hmm. I'm going to check the mill house over there. Bet you he's in a cave. All right, let's go to this first cave. Just kidding, that's the exit. All right, well, if you subtract the three minutes that it took me to get here since our starting time, it looks like I beat Brennan. She hasn't found me yet. I hope she's doing uh, okay. And I do hope she finds me soon because I'm lonely. Actually, to make it easier on myself. Ah! ah. Yay! No. I was actually gonna go in that cave first, and I'm like, I'm gonna make it easier on myself and try here first. Oh man, you're so in the dark right now. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, well it only took me about three and a half minutes. Yeah, I, actually, let's see. Yep, it took three minutes and I guess, oh goodness, you can't even see it. <laughs> but I still beat you! Yeah, Yay! You my like 20 me. seconds. Alright, you got me. This is fun. It was fun. So these games are lasting a little less time than I thought they would take. So we're gonna play a couple more rounds here. Uh, so you're about to go hide again, right? Mm -hmm. So we're about to start the timer again. After three minutes, I will go find Brennan wherever she is on this part of Thomas River Island. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. It's fun to see her vlog. It is kind of, it's very fun for me. All right, so I just left Roy over there and my time's starting. Let's see, where do we want to go? You know what, this time I might actually go in a cave. This definitely would have been a little bit more challenging, maybe more fun if we could go over to the Fort Langhorn side of the island. It certainly would have lasted about twice as long. Uh, but I guess it is kind of nice that it's more condensed uh, so we can really pop these games out and do more of them that way. But I guess maybe that just means we'll have to come back and do it again later. Plus, I guess like three to five minutes really isn't the worst amount of time for a game to last, right? That's, that's fine. That's a good amount of time. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a cave I can go to over here. Ooh, if you ever want a nice wall pick. Sorry about the bumps. All right, I'm still doing good on time. Okay. I think this is a nice place to camp out for a little bit. All right, it's gonna get really dark. You're not gonna be able to see anything. Oh my god, I can't see anything. All right, I got about one minute left. I don't know how far I should go in the cave. Ooh, right here, it's nice and open. This will be nice. All right, perfect. Did anyone else get nervous playing hide and seek as a kid and like hiding always made you had to go to the bathroom? I'm really hoping that wasn't just me. All right, and he's probably on his pursuit to come find me. All right, and there we are. It has been three minutes. It's time to go find Brennan. Now, she went this way, which means I'm probably gonna go check up this way because that's something she would do to try to shake me. Okay, I'm wasting time. I need to go. So this is probably gonna look really creepy, but it's the only way you're gonna see me in here with this camera. But 
this is cool. This is where I'm camping out. Nice open area. It's gonna be a little bit dark. His eyes might need to get adjusted a little bit, but like, I feel good here. I'm trying to be a little bit more vigilant about how I'm filming because every time like I let my guard down and I put the camera down, that's when I find her or she finds me. So I'm trying to be as thorough, I guess, as possible. Wow, oh, geez, Brennan, where are you? I feel like it's something she would do to hide in the same place that I was hiding before to try to throw me off. Hmm. Okay, so far neither of us have made it this far back into the island. So maybe this is where she came to. Ah, there's so many possibilities. See, this is the uh, suspension bridge that would lead over to the Fort Langhorn side of the island, but it is under refurbishment for my future enjoyment. I want to enjoy it now, but that's okay. Oh, geez. You know what? I'm going to check out this cave over here. She didn't want to go into a cave earlier, so that means she's going into a cave now. I'm calling it. She's in this cave. There you are. What in the world? This is my setup. You're just filming with your phone light on? Oh shoot, how long has it been? How long has it been? You can only see me uh, like this. <laughs> oh, it's been uh, less than three minutes. Less than three minutes? So I apologize, my camera was really, really blurry because I guess the, uh, the light from Renan's phone was really throwing it off, but this is where she was, hiding in the mouth of the cave of Injun Joe. I called it right outside. I was just like, you know what? This is where she is. I'm calling it right now. And I called it. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, we made it out of the cave in one piece. Over there you can see the, uh, the bridge that is currently blocked off. And there's Haunted Mansion behind us. And we are about to start our next, and I believe final round of hide and seek in mm -hmm. Tom Sawyer Island. So we're about to start our stopwatches. Start our stopwatches. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. All right. Got it? You got three minutes. I got three minutes. Here we go. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hang out here and enjoy this beautiful view. It's actually not a busy day in the park today, but like the line for Haunted Mansion's pretty long. Okay, I'm trying to think about places that I haven't been, places that I have been. I've hidden in the, uh, the windmill and then Brennan hid kind of out of the open over there and then she hid in the cave. Yeah, you can see over here, this is all closed off. You know, I don't really remember like the last time that I was over at Tomsor Island, but it looks like they've really taken down a lot of the vegetation over here. Like I remember this particular area used to be very, very shaded, and now it's like really out in the open. I don't know if that was something that happened because of Irma or, or what. Hmm. It'd be too obvious to hide in a cave. Well, it just sounds like the uh, Festival of Fantasy music just started. I think I might hide up in here. I think this is it right here. All right, the uh, the scavenge fort. That's where I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide back in there, so she'll have to actually walk up and see if she can find me. And I have about 10 seconds, so let's go find my spot. Ugh. You know, it's kind of a plus is that I get a really nice view of the uh, Festival of Fantasy up here, so that's pretty cool. All right, three minutes is up. All right, and it's been three minutes on the dot, so now I just need to wait and see if Brennan can come find me. Oh goodness. You know, it's weird. This place is never really like abandoned and now I have so much room to do fun stuff up here. I guess everybody's heading to where they can see the uh, the parade, probably. So two minutes is pretty hard to beat or however much time it took him to find me. But you know what? I kind of want this to take a long time because it helps make the game a little more fun. All right, that's where I hid. What are the chances that he hid there too? I'm not sure. Should I check the other cave? Like, do you think that's a weird tactic for me to hide in one cave and him to hide in the other cave? All right, here we go. Entering the cave. And then now I need some time for my eyes to adjust. This is such a cool cave, guys. Alright, so I chose the wrong tactic. I'm trying to see if I have like a good view of Brennan from up here because I have a pretty nice view. Oh, there she is. I see her all the way down there. 
Did you see her? She just walked by. She's going this way. Let's try here again. I feel like I keep checking the same places for him. That's okay. All right, so this search has definitely gone on way past three minutes, so he's already beat me. Okay, she's walking around the corner. Is she gonna see me up here? I'm a little bit nervous. There she is. There he is, his favorite spot in the playground. Look at her, hi, Vernon. <laughs> the playground. Then why didn't you come here first? <laughs> this is where I went first the first time. Uh, and that took you a little over four minutes to find me, so it looks like I've won both rounds. Yay! <laughs> so what did you think of that little game that we made up here at Thomas Thomasville Island? It was actually pretty fun. Like the vlogging was a little distracting, but like if you actually did this without vlogging the entire thing, like it would actually be really fun. Oh yeah, I would actually really want to do it without vlogging, but I wanted to like bring you guys along so you could see the kind of like fun and stuff and I wanted to play <laughs> around with like the dual vlogging situation here. Brendan's never really vlogged before, so make now, sure to give her a big pat on the back because she did a great job. My self banter when <laughs> Just talking to myself, tripping over everything. And it'll be fun for me to kind of see what she did from her side of this whole thing. <laughs> He's going to be experience. laughing at me when he edits this. Uh, all right, we need to make our way back to the rafts to go on to our next appointment. Appointment? Over, yeah, get our game appointment. Ooh, are but we where, fancy? Where are we going? Where are we going after this? Where are Epcot? We're at Epcot. It's kind of interesting today. They only have one raft going back and forth between the islands. Usually they have dual rafts. This one's loading, that one's loading. They both kind of switch places, and it, it's really expedited but today they only have the one raft so we had to wait a while for that raft to pick us up in the first place but it's okay we're still having a great day yeah all right we made it off of tom sawyer island we are heading this way the parade just ended because mickey and minnie are right over there in their little balloon we're following behind the parade now we're gonna make a ride over here and see what the line is for a dole whip all right we came to aloha isle and we got ourselves some dole whips oh, the best treat. it is really the best treat it's a little bit hot today, so I think it's deserved. All right, so we finished everything that we wanted to do here at the Magic Kingdom, which means now we are on to Epcot. Now, I want to ask you guys real quick, have you ever seen a sitcom or a television show where they do a Disney episode where they go to Magic Kingdom and then they go to Epcot? They make it seem in those transitions as if Epcot is right next to Magic Kingdom by walking out of one frame and into the next frame. I wonder. I went to Epcot. Where are you? I'm still in Magic Kingdom. You left me. I'm sorry. Uh, can you can you meet me here? Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll take the monorail. I'll be there in like 45 minutes. Okay. See ya. I'm sorry. Whoops. been forever. When is Brennan getting here? I'm hungry and I'm tired. Hey, Brennan, hi. I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you, Magic Kingdom. Okay, so we made it into Epcot and we have a very fun game planned for the World Showcase here. I have two bandanas and these are going to be our flags for our game that we're going to play here. We're going to kind of do a rendition of Capture the Flag around the World Showcase. How this is going to work is that from opposite ends of the World Showcase, Brennan is going to hide her bandana, her flag, over here between France and the UK pavilions. I'm gonna hide mine over in the, uh, the China pavilion over on the opposite side of the World Showcase. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna take close-up pictures of where our bandanas, our flags are hidden in those pavilions. And then at the same time, we are going to leave our areas, our respective areas where our bandanas are. We are both gonna travel across in opposite directions around the World Showcase. We're gonna time ourselves and whoever finds the other person's flag is gonna be the winner. So. A little bit more involved than our uh, hide to go seek uh, game from this morning, but I think that we've worked it out and I think we know what we're going to be doing. And Brennan, are you excited? I'm ready. 
She's ready. I just stood here for no reason. Yeah. I mean, I need your moral support when I like describe these things and I wave around my flag. Which flag are you? Mm, this is me. That's you. Okay. And again, she's going to be vlogging, so we're going to be kind of uh, documenting each of our experiences around the world showcase. More of my vlogging, more of my banter, just talking to myself. Exactly. Now, it got really, really cloudy really quick over here. Which is um, nice. It is really nice, but that means the sun might go down or it might start raining soon, so we should get going. You know, an equally as entertaining game could have been just to capture the flag of the Brazilian tour groups. I want to capture their flag. Carry it around on that pole, man. That would have been fun. Okay. Hi, Brennan. Hi. So, we both have a camera. Mm -hmm. uh, we are about to trek over into our respected areas. I'm going way over there to China, and you were going to go way over there somewhere. Yep. <laughs> and uh, are you excited? I'm ready. All right, and then once we get there, we will send each other a picture of where our flag is. Did we agree that it was going to be a slight close-up? Yeah, a slight, co yeah, slight close-up. And, uh, and then we'll let each other know, and then we'll try to start at around the same time. It's going to really come down to however long it takes us. It doesn't have to be that we're starting at the same time. You'll see, but uh, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Bye. All right, here we go. I'm lonely already. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy over to that place over the bridge in between the UK and France. So the way that I'm going right now is the way that Brennan is gonna be going later. I'm gonna be hiding my flag in China and then continuing along the World Showcase all the way over into France. Okay, so the UK is gonna be right over here and I've come across this bridge, kind of in between the UK and France and there's like this nice, beautiful area, which I'm happy it's open because a lot of times it's closed for like private events. So I'm gonna take my flag and I'm gonna hide it somewhere. Down here looks perfect. All right, I'm getting close to China up here. And if you look across the lake over here, you can kind of see right over there on the other side of that barge, that is where Brennan is gonna be trying to hide her flag. Uh, sometimes they have special little dessert parties and stuff for that for illumination. So if she can't hide it there, she's gonna try to hide it somewhere in the UK pavilion. I don't really know. You guys know this right now because of her filming this. So I'm left in the dark, but you are not. I'm gonna put this guy I look so sketchy down here, like you have no idea. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, made it to China. Let's see if I can find a cool hiding spot that hopefully nobody will mess with in the next half an hour. I'm gonna be going off of the main path over here to try to find a cool spot. All right, I've got my spot right next to the main temple here, right here in the bushes. This is my blue bandana, my flag. I'm gonna text this picture to Brennan. She's gonna text me a picture of her place and then we are gonna get going. Okay, so I've just placed mine. You can see it back here. I'm waiting on a text from Roy because he's still on his way to China right now to let me know that he has his placed. So once I get the text, I'm gonna start the timer on my phone. Uh-oh, I think this is him now. Okay, so this is the picture that I've been given. That little blue thing right there, that's the bandana. So the main things that we need to look for is this red gate right here. I'm trying to imagine where that is, but I'm gonna have this red gate and then whatever this this thingy is. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but Brennan sent me a picture of her bandana right there. She did find a spot in between uh, France and the UK. So I'm gonna find wherever this is there. And then I sent her the picture of where this is here. And I think we're gonna start our stopwatches in exactly one minute and then we're gonna be getting on the road or something like that. And there we go. We're gonna start the time now. Good luck, little buddy. All right. Let's do it. I'm super excited. We're gonna make our way to China. So Roy's gonna be coming around this way and I'm actually gonna be walking this way. Oop, just tripped up the stairs. So I gotta make it all the way over there and get Brennan's flag before she comes to China and gets mine. So that was the area I just left. And now I'm coming up into the UK right over here. I don't know how Roy does this, cause like, it doesn't seem like people look at him when I watch him vlogging, but like when I'm doing it, it's really weird. I am passing through the African outpost right now. One of the main rules that we lay down is that we have to walk. We can't run, we can't speed walk or anything. We have to walk, so we are gonna abide by that hardcore. Roy's out there over yonder somewhere. And I'm just now leaving Canada. Making pretty decent time. If you guys can't tell, we are still in the Festival of Arts. And there's a lot of art. This has been one of the most interesting things, the deconstructed dish pavilion. If you want to take a look at it. All right, I'm wasting time. 
All right, just passed through Germany. We found out that there's six countries in between Brennan's flag and my flag from the direction that I'm going. Only four in between where she hit it and then where mine is the direction that she's going. So there's a lot more chance I'm gonna be kind of slowed down by just the crowd of people uh, from my direction. But then I think her direction, the way that she's going is a little bit longer, just a little bit. So hopefully we tried to do this in a way that's fair to each other and that's why we decided instead of showing exactly where our flag was, we showed it in a general area so that could either add or subtract a few minutes onto each of us finding our flags. I'm coming up on the Mexico Pavilion right now. It's funny because like the thing I'm worried about the most is not the time. It's actually like if we leave these place, these uh, flags somewhere, if someone's going to actually find them and just like take them for themselves. Walking by Italy now and thankfully it's actually a pretty relatively light day here at Epcot. Uh, it's actually getting a little bit more crowded tonight. It's pretty crowded over here in the American Pavilion usually because they have the Disney on Broadway concert series. Although this usually happens during the weekends, not during the weekdays. We are here on a weekday when we're doing this. And there's the uh, American Pavilion. And guys, I am going slow because I'm trying to show everything. Oh man, I hope Brennan is... Well, I always hope she's doing well, but I hope she's doing worse than me right now. Coming up on six minutes and about 45 seconds. I'm now entering Mexico. If you haven't been to Chaza de Margarita, like, it's pretty good. I know it was like a long awaited thing, so it was under construction for a long time. Their margaritas are a bit pricey, but the cucumber one I had was really good. I'm getting closer. That's where I'm going, right over there, that little island right down there. And I'm walking past Japan right now, which means I only have Morocco and France to go until I can cross that bridge and then walk right down there. We're doing good. The China Pavilion is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. So I hope it's like as equidistant as Roy said it was going to be. This is where it's kind of nice being a tiny person like myself. I'm giving you like a point of view of me dodging traffic at the theme parks. I've had years of experience on how to do this, so it works kind of well for me. The Festival of the Arts is concluding after this weekend, but the International Flower and Garden Festival is beginning at the very end of this month on, I think, February 29th, or 28th, February 28th, and then going until May 28th. There is no February 29th, that should have been kind of obvious. Uh, passing through Morocco now, so we have France to go, and we are almost there. All right, coming up on eight minutes now, and I'm just now entering Norway. And I see China right up ahead. It smells like fish. Like, I don't know what's going on, but it smells like the lagoon and fish. Nine minutes. Let me pull up that photo that Roy sent me again. I'm looking for a red gate. I know that. Oh no. I just realized it could be any of them. These are all red gates, guys. Okay. So, let's see. There's a red gate, but if you look all the way in the back, there's this like little white gate. So what is that? I like this. I've gotten to a place where I can hold the camera comfortably like this, so that I can, you know, do this like this, or just flip it around just like this. All right. Coming up on 10 minutes. All right, I am walking through France right now. I just have to head over this bridge right over here and I will be on the island that Brennan's flag is hidden somewhere in the bushes. I want to say it's probably somewhere along this, this like quiet little path over here. So let's, let's see. I think I see it guys. I think I see it. I might do it in, okay, so 10, 40, 10 minutes and 50 seconds. I found it guys, I found it. Here it is. All right, it took me exactly 11 minutes to find this. And it took me a little bit more than 10 minutes to make it all the way from over there where China is, halfway across the World Showcase, just walking at a normal pace to try to find Britain's flag somewhere over here. Now I have to try to be as diligent as possible. I need to look at the picture that she sent me actually so I can try to see where it was. All right, I'm trying to see where it is here. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you guys can see it too, but it looks like it's next to some sort of a sprinkler head or somewhere it's definitely next to some rails. Okay, it's definitely not these rails. They're a little bit too thick and far apart. It's these rails right here. I think it's gonna be right down here. Let me see. Oh geez, I'm nervous. And there it is. I can already see it. Yep, 
Brennan's flag. All right, let's see how much time do I have left here. Uh, uh oh, where is it? Okay, 12 minutes and I guess 12 seconds is when I found her flag. So, booyah, Brennan, I did it. And she hasn't texted me yet, so does that mean I won? All right, that was so cool. I mean, what a nice, serene place to like end this little capture the flag thing. Nice choice, Roy. It was the uh, these flowers in the back that kind of like helped it. So I sent him a text saying that like, I did it and he didn't answer me back yet. I don't think we discussed what happened like once the other person found the flag, so I just texted him uh, the time that it took me, which was 11 minutes, um, and then I just sent him a picture of me with the flag. No, I don't believe it. She just sent me a picture here that said 11 minutes exactly, and she has a picture holding my bandana, and she sent that to me exactly as I sent her a picture of me holding mine. Does that mean she won? If it was 11 minutes, then it totally beat me by an entire minute. Brennan, you're over there somewhere in China, and you beat me. You beat me in my own game. I'm proud of you, but I'm also mad. Darn it. <sighs> All right, I guess we uh, better meet back up somewhere then, right? Yay, I won! Uh, Roy called me, and he told me that I won by a minute. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed my vlogging, and that it wasn't just a lot of, like, my chin or my eyebrows. Hope I was entertaining. All right, I'm gonna go meet up with him now. We're gonna meet like literally halfway in the middle. I'm cuddling with my victory uh, flag. I am on my way to meet back up with Britain, but right over here, this is where we went our separate ways to go hide our flags. And now I've made a full lap around the world showcase. And now my feet are tired. And look at that. There she is. This is where we agreed to meet, right down here. And there she is. Don't rub it in my face. A little fuzz. A little fuzz, you're a little fuzz. <laughs> no. Oh man. I did it! You did, you were like at 11 minutes, right? I took my little legs and I used them well. Man, mine was 12 <laughs> minutes. Maybe it's because I was wearing your backpack, it was slowing me down, man. I, I was know. wearing my backpack all day. Well, I won hide and go seek both times, and then you won this, so I think it's a pretty, pretty good uh, way to kind of end things. Yours was tough, you hit it in a good spot because like I got there and I was trying to look at the red gate in the picture and mm -hmm. when I got there I'm like, oh no the red gates are everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I tried to like do it like off the beaten path where mm -hmm. like, you know, nobody could like grab it and find it and then same with yours, it was a nice place. Yeah. So yeah, we did a good job, this was fun. This I like this. Fun. I was like, I was telling them on the way here, like the main thing that I was worried about was someone just coming up and taking it. Yeah, but luckily it only took, you know, 10 minutes for each of us to like make it around and in that little time, but the chances of somebody like messing with or taking it were pretty low. So. Yeah. We look like losers just filming each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, Brennan, so we had an incredible time today. We completed our fun games. Did you have fun today? I did, and I got a good workout in too. I know that was crazy, but you know, two games that you really don't think you can do at Disney World, we mm -hmm. did, and we had a great time doing them, so make sure to subscribe to Attractions Magazine, click the little bell down below to be notified of videos that we upload, of what kind of videos that we upload personally. This is Roy Meets World. I upload videos every month here on the 10th, so I will see you guys next month. It's actually almost been a year already since I started uploading really? videos on Attractions. Oh, I know, it's wow. crazy. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited to see you guys. Make sure to follow these links right here to get some uh, fun little personal interaction with me if you're interested in that. And I will see you guys next month with a brand new video. I have some fun stuff planned next month. So on behalf of myself and Brennan, have a great day guys. And I'll and see you around. Maybe next time, instead of playing Capture the Flag, we can play Capture the Snack.